Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us for a Revit Smackdown today. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at local versus cloud rendering in Revit. My name is Sean Usher. I will be talking on the side of the cloud. I'm an architectural technologist. I've been with Imagine It for three years now. I've worked in visualization and sustainability, and I've been working with them since 2007. Um, my counterpart for today is Jim Bish, and he'll be speaking on the side of local. Take it away, Jim. Okay, so here we have a scene, and we're going to go ahead and do a local rendering on that. That's pretty simple to do. You just enable the show rendering dialog right here. And right now we're going to use Metal Ray with the best setting. Go print it right to the screen and all we have to do now is um, render it. <clears throat> okay, so you see the throttle bar and it'll tell you what it's rendering and how long it's going to take. Uh, we processed this image previously. And so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. We timed it out at about 40 minutes. So what we're going to do is go back to show the model. And we have that view right here. This is what it looked like. So you can see that there's a lot of splotchiness in here. There's some anti-aliasing problems around the windows here. We flashed out the background because it's too bright outside. So with that, and you can down here in front of the, the range. So with that, I'm going to hand it back over to Sean to see what we can do with the cloud. Sean? All right. So, uh, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what the cloud can do with this. Um, we're just going to keep everything pretty basic. We're not going to change too much, do a simple image, final quality, uh, medium size. I'm just going to change it to JPEG. And then we're just going to hit uh, our start render button and that'll package everything up and go off to the cloud now I've already gone and uh, rendered this again to save us some time I'm taking a look at the render gallery here as it boots up uh, we'll see that um, our image is processed in the cloud in considerably less time whereas the best quality out of Revit you just you know just using the standard best quality got us about a 40 minute render and in three minutes in the cloud we get a much much better looking render we've gotten a much softer uh, lighting up and through here and everything's got a lot more reflectivity to it and a much nicer softer and even more vibrant color to what we have here so um, Jim what do you have to say about that well, the only other thing I could say about that is if we go back to the rendering here, we have the ability to, let's go back to that kitchen one view. And if we go back into the rendering, we can go ahead and use a different, the new ray tracer rendering engine on high. And we'll go ahead and render that. <clears throat> and this is going to look a lot better. <clears throat> So this is a progressive rendering engine that does passes until you tell it to stop. So it's just going to keep refining this image with the iRay as we move into the session. And you can already tell just from the, the scene now, I'm getting a much cleaner image in these areas where the splotchiness was. It's starting to look like it's cleaning up some of that color bleed. Not completely, but it's it's doing a good job on it. And I've got a more defined anti-aliasing around these windows. You don't see the jagged lines anymore. And I can, I can see that just from where I'm at at only 12%. And we can just keep letting this refine until it gets to the quality we want. And then we can cancel it from there. Sean? So, yeah, uh, much better looking here, but still... Still got some time issues going on here. One minute, 20%. We've got a much better looking image, but in this amount of time, we can use the cloud renderer again, and we still got a three minute render time out of a still image, but in the time it takes us to render a Autodesk render or ray trace render out of this, we can send off a interactive panorama and own only a render time of 17 minutes. We have 
all of the images required um, created, rendered, and stitched together in a fantastic 360 panorama, which we can then basically put ourselves right into the building, a nice rendered image, and see how this is all going to work with our lighting. And you'll notice also we have some um, artificial lighting in use here. And trying to take in some artificial lighting in our basic Revit renders would boost that render time way, way up. So you can see here, cloud, clear, clear winner in our Revit Smackdown um, between cloud versus uh, local rendering. Local rendering's pretty good. We can get some good stuff, but we've got a much better time saver here if you have access to the cloud. Highly recommend this if you have um, access to the cloud. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. This was the Revit Smackdown between local and cloud rendering.